Hello, tankers! We now release new episodes of the vlog only once or twice per month. Of course, you write in comments wonder and often ask us why. We're glad you enjoyed our weekly schedule. To be honest, we miss it too. But the decision went through a lot of consideration. Right now, we are experimenting with content and all of its details on different platforms. We actively post on TikTok in different languages and on YouTube Shorts. The latter format lets us share relevant information immediately as soon as it appears, literally on a day-to-day -day basis. And when we launch minigames, we post a short that includes only one topic with brief rules. Videos appear each week and sometimes even up to 10 times a month. We stay in touch everywhere, so subscribe! We said goodbye to the Android version recently, you do know about that, right? Now mobile and PC clients work on HTML5, but we are sad that the battle tutorial will disappear, so we decided to transfer it to HTML5 with a little rework. In the upgraded version, the tutorial is happening on Sandbox Remastered. You will learn tank controls, drive around and get to the control point, where a tank bot will appear in front of you. Since the tutorial didn't exist on the main version for a long time and was too simple on Android, bots became much smarter and more aggressive to make it more interesting. Also, we decided not to lower their health. Even the first tank will be able to compete with you in the firing rate. If you hesitate for even a second, you will go back to respawn. Yes, there is no immortality or a giveaway game unlike in most other games. In Tanky Online, even if you are sent to respawn, nothing is lost. Just try again with a different battle tactic. This is a part of learning the game too, and the tutorial shows it. You may only progress after you win a 1 vs 1 battle against an aggressive bot. Once you respawn, it will search for you around the map and try to deal as much damage as possible. And when you rip its turret off, the good old deathmatch will start. The last mission is to throw three frags. The battle will happen on equal conditions too, and if you do three precise hits, the tutorial will end. Recently, the tank explosion effect was updated on the main server. After the release, we found a small bug. Explosion particles may appear and disappear for one frame and be displayed incorrectly on the rendering distance. We are already fixing it, so you won't have to wait long. After that, we plan to work on the Salute Grenade. And no, this is not a spoiler for the tanky birthday. Oh no, wait, maybe it's still a spoiler. Also, we will optimize particles for all the effects in the game. A new setting will be added for optimal setting of performance and FPS, a separate slider of effects displayed on screen. What about players on mobile? There is a lot of stuff in the works, too. If you watched episode 502, you already know what the tanky team is working on right now. I'll update the information. Login and sign-up forms are fixed. Now the keyboard doesn't cover the typing field. Sound is muted when the game is minimized. Loading in the battle on a remastered map is now stable. Users are no longer kicked during the resource download. Also, the following fixes are planned to be released soon. Adding supplies auto-activation in battle. Fixing network disconnect on weak phones during the resources unpacking stage. Minimizing FPS drops when other players enter the battle or change equipment. Adding welcome screen when the app is launched. Limiting maximum resolution and graphic settings for mobile. Speaking of the last one, if you have problems with the performance, the first thing you should try to do is to change graphic settings from the high to low. Due to the fact that the 6-7 inch screen is small, you won't notice the quality difference, but the performance will improve significantly. Also, here are the other things we plan to rework in the future, but their priority is not considered critical now. Welcome to May holidays! Tomorrow we're launching activities that will last for the entire month. To be more precise, up to May 30th. Real sunny days intersect with the festive mood and the ability to spend more time in Tanky Online. The holiday paint, double battle funds and experience, discounts and updated images on the billboards. All of these will appear tomorrow. 
You have time to prepare for three days of discounts on all items in the shop and garage and the equipment upgrades. This is a chance to upgrade your tank, get exclusive equipment and prepare for the May battles. The 30% discount is active from Friday to Sunday. Also, there will be special offers on the showcase. Check them out too. Let's check out some amazing prizes in the Elite Pass. If you purchase it and earn 50 stars, then you will get the Vampire Nanobots Augment for Isida. Isida Vampirism lets you heal yourself for 35% of the damage you deal. Imagine the shock in the eyes of your enemies seeing your HP increasing at the cost of theirs. With this augment, you will quickly complete all the special missions. Be in the top three players of the team or finish the battle in the winning team. It's a matter of a few battles. And if you reach the 1000 stars mark, you get a legendary key to open a skin container. Festive missions give you common and epic keys. They are divided into several stages. You can unlock the next one only by completing six missions and collecting the reward for the super mission. I want to remind you that in other sections, you will find missions of festive battle modes, premium, battle pass and advent missions for entering the game. Let's get to the special modes. The first one named Dragon's Gold is available from May 3rd to May 10th. Gold box rains are expected on the maps and one juggernaut is waiting on the drop zones. Your goal is to fight it. Show it who's the real boss there using the strongest weapons, tactics and aim shots. The power of the guns doesn't mean anything yet. The next one will be in the classic mode. Drones, overdrives, nuclear energy and augments can't be used there. We will leave the supplies on, but will they help? It's hard to be on the top in classic. Only skill will help. A lighter mode will start on May 17th and will last for a week. Play deathmatch on different maps, equip the best augments from the garage, buy supplies and upgrade drones to be ready. The last battle mode in May will be Butchers. When you enter the battle where you need to steal and protect flags, your tank is armed with the B0 NK turret. Choose your strategy immediately. Defend the flag on your base or bring chaos to the enemy territory. Bunks, as always, deal a lot of damage in one hit. And back to keys. All the earned keys will help get valuable items from the containers. This time you will find XT HD skins for Scorpion and Ares, Armadillo module and Crisis drone, also various augments. If you are sure in your skill of using Striker, you will enjoy the missile launcher Meteor. Precise hits with fast rockets will empty the enemy's health bar quicker than they will notice you. A rapid fire mode for Shaft changes the game rules. Shaft hits enemies with three arcade shots in one second. The augment lets the player use the turret in an alternate firing mode, almost without using a scope. With the blaster augment, Paladin will be even more dangerous. Don't let it get close to you in the battles, since if destroyed, it can take a few nearby tanks with it to the respawn and the newest augment, sustainable nanobots for Isida. Beam length for healing and attacking is greatly increased, but pay attention to the cylinder. Attacking quickly empties it, but healing can be done calmly and for a long time, from a safe position. We shared the tasks for the month with you, now let's get to the question for premium. We keep giving you a week of premium for your answers. Let me remind you that in episode 503, we gave you a situation where you had to come up with a scenario where a dictator catches a gold box. Here are three winning comments. Number 1. Iola 22. Dictator's quick guide to gold glory. In the realm of Tanky, a dictator stood tall. With a plan so clever, it could outsmart them all. Mammoth charged, Hopper leaped. Wasp was set to bomb, but Dizzy the Dictator remained cool and calm. He froze his foes with a chilly blast, scooped up the gold and had a blast. So when you play, just think of Dizzy, winning gold with moves so busy. Number 2. Cubentum. Just self-destruct until you spawn near the gold. LOL.
Number 3. Gladiators First, activate Dictator's Overdrive and kill the Hopper with critical hit. If you stay put in your place, the Wasp will ignore you and go forward and place its bomb for the Mammoth. The Mammoth dies because of the bomb, and all you've got to do is kill the Wasp, if he wasn't killed by the Mammoth's Overdrive. This will leave the path clear for the Dictator to take the Gold Box without any disturbance. Those were the three winners. We will send them their rewards in 24 hours. Here's the next question. Which tank will most effectively return the flag? Choose a tank and explain why. Who will make the most effective way now? Well, that was all the news. Like, comment, share your new things and your plans for May holiday. Hugs to all of you. Bye.